So this article here by esports.net said something about the competitive team TSM um, getting some controversy for data mining zone. TSM has been data mining zones in Apex Legends. Now that sounded wild. I was like, what? I was like, yo, is this like a big scandal that's gonna like be a, a large deal and sort of like shake up that whole competitive scene if like the top team is cheating? And I'm trying to figure out like, wait, so what are they doing exactly when they're data mining? Are they literally going in and reverse engineering internal code, back end code, and retrieving like in-game values that aren't exposed to users and i'm like yo that's like a big deal first of all that is sheesh i i mean tsm of course is one of the more well-known um one of the more well-known competitive or even just in general esports teams so i i've heard of them since Fortnite. so if they, anybody has the money to go and do that to that extent it would be tsm um and i saw this tweet here uh, by th uh, another a competitive player, data mining for zones is supposedly a thing in Apex. And the way it is explained is you can basically find through the code of the game in each update which certain zones can happen and which can't. And that stuck out to me as interesting. What does that mean? That you can find out literally in a battle royale where the last zone is going to be? I'm like, what? That's crazy. I was like, that's such a big deal if that's the case. So I'm like, this is really breaking the whole foundation, this controversy here. So I was like, what is going on? And uh, I see here the user agreement specifically states this is the user agreement for Apex Legends, I think stated by Respawn slash EA. Data mining is against the rules. Users can't use any device or process to access EA services for any purpose, such as scraping data or addicting and this might be a typo maybe aiding and cheating addicting and cheating or any other anti-competitive behavior and i was like wow this is like a huge deal and then i saw this twitch clip i don't see how it's it's a lack of competitive integrity i don't agree with it it depends what the what is the tip of the iceberg you're not telling us what the other stuff no, is no it's nothing no it's nothing illegal or against the rules it's literally how, nothing well, illegal well, I mean, we, the raven well, we've, uh, first already, of all, we've already Right. We've we already said that data mining is is actually against the EA against license. The license. Right? Yeah. 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 So that actually is against the rules to data mine in general, right? Obviously, you can say, "Oh, they can't prove it was me," because I actually have heard that you pay someone to do it. Like I, bro, I know. Bro, I feel bad for Raven, man. My man Raven has absolutely fucking torched him and TSM with this. He should not have joined, bro. This is so so bad. Like I, I actually want him to leave because like he's literally like trolling right now. Like I'm not like I'm not even trolling. He's literally like nuking himself. But essentially, a number of pro players confronted this individual who serves as an analyst on the TSM team, and um, the analyst came forward and said that he has been using these zones because if you know exactly where the zone ends, that's crazy. That's that's wild. Is that. Okay, this is exactly this is the tweet that they were mentioning in that Twitter clip in that Twitch clip in the conversation. Apparently earlier this year, an individual who is known as Shrugtail on Twitter, who's a software engineer, went ahead and discovered where the places where the zone cannot end on the map Storm Point. So what this is here, and he notes here as well in the top reply, is that these are where the center of the final ring cannot be. Meaning that if it's a circle and it closes, that final coordinate in which there's still like the final coordinate of which there is zone and not storm is encapsulated within these circles. So you can still have zones that are one through five over these areas because it's still getting to that final coordinate. And parts of the final ring, which is ring six, can overlap in these circles. So this is a big difference from knowing where the zone is. This is essentially an exclusion map. This is just telling you, no matter what, the center of the zone isn't going to be here. So this is kind of useless, honestly.
um, these are reasonable standards and reasonable sort of um, uh, boundaries that you want if you're developing a uh, competitive BR game. You want there to be some sort of like interesting and exciting end game where not one team has a definite and clear advantage. And of course, like, you know, headlines, they got to get their clicks. But the idea that people think that this is cheating is one. It, it, it sort of seems kind of weird because it's like, what is not, what is, okay, you, okay, let's say, let me play devil's advocate here. Like, okay, let's say I'm a guy that someone, someone slips me this, 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 this PNG. They're like, bro, you want the, you want the, you want the keys to success? All you got to do is see this. And I'm like, okay, nice. I know where the zone's not going to be. So tell me, sir, where is it going to be? Like, like, what does this map give me? Oh, I'm just going to, first of all, this map doesn't even help me get to the end of the game. I could still die off drop. I could still <laughs> have a lot of issues even getting to the, the second zone, let alone the sixth zone. But I thought it'd be interesting. So, you know, what we're going to do for a little bit during this stream is we're going to make a mini uh, script that's going to help us uh, figure out coordinates that are valid versus coordinates that are invalid. Because this is essentially what this is. This being an exclusion map is telling you what are invalid coordinate coordinates for the center of the last circle um, compared to the valid spots, which are outside of the red circle. Let's say someone did something like this guy here. This person got the end circle from 150 games. Uh, where is this from? I think this was during some tournament. This guy sat here and screenshotted 150 different zones like a champ. And what he did was he compiled a heat map of all the different. Yeah, this must have been because it says EU and NA. So these are different regions. He compiled screenshots of where the zone actually ended. And this is useful. And, and he didn't do any data mining. He didn't do any back end stuff. He just sat there, took his time and was like, I'm going to take, I got nothing else to do. So I'm going to screenshot where the final circle is for all of these spots. But you can also, let's say he didn't do 150 matches. Let's say he did a thousand or 2000 or 10,000. If you got the time, the money, or the esports organization that's willing to back this, you could pretty much have a map that's better than this. Like this, if this was data mined, this is okay, this is fine and all. I don't think it's that useful, and it's also pretty easy and straightforward to obtain. And what I want to emphasize is that even if this information was illegally sourced, it's very easy to do this yourself and to do it like as accurate as you want it to be. Okay, next I'm going to bring up my favorite free photo editor. And the reason why I like it, a big part of it is because it's free. What we're going to do is we're we about to just have some, have some fun real quick. Let's say someone just tells me, gives me a map in which the final circle is highlighted by, well, what color are we going to use? Let's do purple. I don't really do purple stuff in general. Have them... Um, in this folder of final circle images and they're all labeled final circle one and and of course this is just a mini like project but if this was like a real script this um, folder would preferably be filled with thousands of images of the actual apex map like it would look like this but it would be a similar thing where it's highlighted color coded specifically because we're going to use a script to um, retrieve each image and based off of the uh, color on the map, um, deduce whether or not that's an invalid zone or not. And I have an exclusion map class here, which is going to consist of the map width and height. And I'm gonna make a note here because um, all these images are have dimensions of 100, uh, 100 pixels width and height. So I'll just make a note of that. But it's not even machine learning. You don't have to like create like some machine learning model that like you feed data. Like this is just you just. Uh, of course, the the only the, the barrier to entry, of course, is the software engineering um, background to be able to construct the script. But the general idea, I'd say, anyone can sort of grasp is like 
it's not about where the final zone is, it's about where it's probably not going to be. And that's something that you can absolutely find through legitimate means. So let's just do this right here. And through X and Y because the idea is this coordinate map is going to be the same size this coordinate map is going to be like a f the final map is going to have all the like valid and invalid points and the um, we're gonna assume that all the images that we're getting are all all have the same dimensions like they all have the same width and height So this is basically it. This is what I wanted to get across. Didn't want to spend too much time on it, but basically showing that with time, with a lot of information, with a lot of like files to feed into it, it's pretty easy to sort of, and we only do this in like an hour, kind of like messing around and we kind of have like a rough idea. But if you wanted to add imaging, have a library that allows you to actually draw the maps in a way that this guy did. I think this is how he did it. He probably got it from the game files zones that it won't happen and then he used some sort of illustration library to draw the line or he just did it by hand if you just have all the coordinates you can just draw the areas where it doesn't happen so pretty simple or let me not let me not say simple but i think it's pretty straightforward uh, to get this kind of data so that's what i wanted to get across and that's pretty much it i wanted to go through that and uh yeah